Hey guys, Inder this side from 24 by 7 everything. Hope you all are doing great. We are again back with another video and this time it's on Asus Zenfone Max Pro M1 related to review of version 060. So let's start with that. So on my screen you are able to view that the latest build number that is 060 is already installed with the security patch of December and along with that there were two other change log. One was the second one was related to camera where uh, like users were unable to click the uh, photographs or I would say pics by clicking on the focus mode or I would say sometime on the shutter and third one was related to the misalignment of the icons in the status bar and so on. So let's start with the review part. So very first part or I would say the very first thing that you want to know is battery draining. Yes, it is still draining. But I would say let's say if you are going to update your uh, phone today itself, then you, you just have to wait at least two to three days to <clears throat> figure out overall battery drainage because sometimes battery statistics are not refreshed on the go. So it, it sometimes takes time. So let's say if, uh, on the Tuesday when I have uh, updated my phone and I have put my phone uh, like into the idle mode for eight to nine hours. So on the very first day, it was having a battery uh, drainage of nearly about nine to 10 percent. And then the on the second consecutive day, it was having seven to eight percent. So from last three to four days, I'm having a mixed battery drainage percentage. Sometimes it's four to five and sometimes it is five to six. But I again want to uh, like emphasize one thing. I haven't turned off the digital uh, valve so it is already on. So I would say comparatively somewhat better but again five to six percent of battery drainage is really bad. So ASU should work on this in the coming updates as well. And aside to that if you if you want to know that what's the battery draining in while playing games or other apps. So for the apps it's usually uh, required like whatsoever you are using but in case of two big games like Call of Duty and PUBG. So for Call of Duty I have played consecutive two matches both of 15 to 20 minutes. So all in all it has a battery drainage of nearly about 9 to 11 percent. So it is negligible or I would say it is a, a good part because after all our phone is almost 1 to 1.5 year older. So it, it's it, it's uh, I would say a reasonable. The second one was related to PUBG where I have played nearly about again two consecutive match. First was what I think of 30 to 33 minutes and second was was of 25 to 27. So overall the battery drainage was nearly about 10 to 11 percent. So I would again say that with the uh, like gameplay of 40 to 45 percent it was again reasonable. So now let's begin to other part. So after each and every update users complain that my fingerprint scanner is not working. So let me show you. It's working absolutely fine. Let me do one more time. Great. And apart to this uh, face unlocking is also working fine. So let me show you that as well. Now I've just un unlocked my phone. Voila. Let me do one more time. Voila. I'll do for the last time. So all my fingers are in front. Voila. So I won't say this is fast, but again, it's good that. So, so after fingerprint and face unlocking, let's discuss some other points. Uh, Sometimes users are complaining about Bluetooth. So Bluetooth is working absolutely fine. I have tested with the Bluetooth speakers as well and also transferring files of 20 to 25 MB, uh, nearly about a bunch of 4 to 5 files. So it's all working absolutely fine. A part of the flash is also working fine and so on. And apart to that, I've also tested uh, like screen casting. It is also working absolutely fine. Yes, this is focus mode. So this is really good. This shipped along with the digital valve So you can make like you can use this and you can uh, provide your feedback on the same. So basically, if you will turn it on, then you can uh, stop the distraction from a uh, few of the uh, apps that uh, which won't be distracting you for the limited time whatsoever you will be setting and so on. So for that, you just have to tap it here. And afterward, you just have to select those apps and so on. So we will be creating a dedicated video on this as well in the coming future related to focus mode and so on. Apart to this network issue, yes, some some users are complaining that brother, I am having a network issue. So I would say it is again not fully uh, like resolved, but I have seen a significant uh, improvement on that. So even earlier with the dual voltage, if you can see uh, dual voltage are already available and it's working absolutely fine. In the previous version with the dual voltage, I was facing some issue, but now it's uh, somewhat decreased. So I would say network issue is somewhat good now, but not it's on to the fuller extent or of the upper side extent. Now let's start with the other part. So firstly, you all will be uh, thinking of camera to API is enabled. No. So again, it's a disgusting thing. It is a disappointing thing that we have been asking for the camera to API from a last seven to eight month or I would say nearly about a year, but Asus is not providing and I don't think they will now be again providing anything in the future as well. 
Apart to this, let's verify the wide one certification. It's really good that it is still on L1 because in previous to previous update, it was changed to L3 and we all were uh, thinking uh, updates are meant to be resolving or creating new problems. And apart to this, as I have told you earlier that camera shutter problem is already resolved. So I can also show you by clicking few photographs. So it's working fine. And aside to that focus mode, also working fine great so all in all now it's working absolutely fine so few users are complaining in the past that whether i am not able to use this and that now let's move to the benchmarking so firstly i have already ran uh, benchmarking scores for the anti 2 geekbench 4 geekbench 5 and so on so these are the benchmark scores for the anti 2 where we have scored nearly about 1 like 51000 it's really great but again you will view uh, like with the previous version of anti 2 the scores are less so again they have also modified their algorithm to run the basic things in the background so if you will see significant change so sometime it is related to algorithm but all in all we will be uh, verifying this with the version 061 or 062 whenever it is becoming because as compared to 059 it is somewhat more and even their like algorithm is changed so i won't recommend to uh, like comparison uh, like make a comparison with the 059 so in cpu it is 63000 in gpu it is 24000 in memory management 32000 will test memory management in ux it is counting 30000 plus and so on and apart to this i have already run geekbench 4 scores as well so you can view single core scores are showing uh, 133 multi core scores are showing 4911 and again apart to this if i'll go for compute in the render script it is showing 4256 and if I'm not wrong, as compared to 059, it is somewhat decreased. So again, it, these benchmark score doesn't make sense, but few users are, so I have to uh, like include these things. Now I've just opened Geekbench 5. So Geekbench 5's algorithm is really different as compared to Geekbench 4. That's why you see this uh, like a lot of difference in terms of scoring. So in single score, it is 276. In multi score, it is 1243. So again, good. In terms of compute, we have two different uh, APIs. One is Vulkan and another is OpenCL. With the Vulkan, it has scored 144 and with the OpenCL, it has scored 431. So all in all, uh, I would say not major change as compared to 059, but again, yes. So now let's discuss about the RAM management for that. I have already opened few apps in my uh, recent uh, list and so on. So let's start with the Call of Duty. So before creating this video, I was uh, playing a match and I have left over on this screen. So now, so now it hasn't started from this, uh, I would say very starting point. It is on the home screen, but it is connecting to server. So uh, all in all, it is connected and it is uh, like rendered from the start, uh, like st uh, start page. So now let's move to the PUBG. And again, I was also playing PUBG before creating this video. And again, it's good that it has started from the start page rather than starting from the scratch by loading into the memory. And a part of this, I have already opened a bunch of other apps, but those are not those many, like I would say, memory uh, their memory consumption is very less. So those will run absolutely. So all in all, RAM management as compared to 059, hardly a slightly better, not that much. And again, it was not poor in version 059 as well. And if I have skipped something, you can ask me in the comment below and I'll try my level best to answer all those things. So these were the specific things which I always review in my uh, each and every update. Hope you like this video. If you really like this video, kindly share this with your friends and family. And apart from this, please subscribe to our channel because this will surely motivate us and boost us to create more videos like this in the coming future. Finally, it's the time to sign off now. Bye for now. Thanks.